A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Monday, November 1st. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The Ulster County District Attorney's Office has been awarded a $500,000 grant from the U.S. Department of Justice's Office of Violence Against Women for improving criminal justice responses to domestic violence, dating violence, sexual assault, and stalking. The District Attorney's Office, in collaboration with the National Network for Safe Communities at John Jay College, plans to use the funding to support the expansion of the intimate partner violence intervention throughout the county. Reducing and preventing intimate partner violence is a core mission of the Ulster County District Attorney's Office, says DA David Clegg. He says the success of the program in the city of Kingston, in partnership with Kingston Police and under the guidance of the National Network for Safe Communities, led to the commitment to expand the program countywide. As the pandemic slowly recedes from daily life, the leftover effects include a rise in gun violence, and State Senator Michelle Hinchy has announced $130,000 in funding to help with the issue in Kingston. She said they hope they're able to stem the tide of gun violence in that city. We are on the 87 corridor, right? People are, we are very close to the communities that are increasing. We're very, we're on uh, a drug run, right? Gangs are kind of coming up, moving up, and people have been really challenged through the pandemic. And so uh, we hope that with this funding and with the work of all these organizations and others, uh, that we're really able to stem the tide of gun violence. More than one third of the funding, $50,000, will be earmarked for the SNUG program, a gun violence prevention program in Newburgh and Poughkeepsie that's now coming to Kingston. SNUG is guns spelled backwards. The accelerator program, a business incubator approach of the former administration of the Orange County Industrial Development Agency is being phased out. The new board and leadership believe the program has been mismanaged. Tenants remain for long periods of time despite the concept to aid startup companies and the IDA bore far too much of the operating costs, they said. As a result, IDA Executive Director Bill Fiorvante says the agency is shifting away from the program. We have already notified the town of New Windsor that we're not going to renew leases there for, for three of five buildings that we rent on the Stewart Airport campus campus uh, that we've used for, for the accelerator programs. They expire at the end of this calendar year. Uh, we've already no- notified them that we don't want to be the landlord anymore, and we've connected them with these tenants and these, these clients of the accelerator and trying to support them and hopefully becoming tenants of the town in that case. And I think you'll see us do that uh, elsewhere, start to divest our, ourselves, especially the, the real estate related cost. New Windsor Supervisor George Myers is not committing to a takeover of the program in his town. He says officials are doing their due diligence before making a decision. More news in just a moment. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Frontier Airlines, which has just begun nonstop flights between New York Stewart International Airport and three Florida cities, would consider other destinations, according to a top airline official. The airline is headquartered in Denver and does offer flights to Las Vegas from other cities, and Senior Vice President Commercial Daniel Shores wouldn't rule out Vegas flights from Stewart in the future. We have a significant operation in Las Vegas. We do currently fly in the, to the northeast uh, from Vegas, but in much in much larger airports. Currently, we don't currently fly any secondary type markets nonstop in this part of the world to Las Vegas. But that's not to say it's not an opportunity in the future. It really it is an opportunity. It's a differentiation point, and it's something. Look, I think the more we can find destinations that really stand out over time the more that this airport will become well-known and the more customers will start using Stuart. 
Several years ago, Allegiant Airways operated Stewart to Vegas flights with one stopover, but that service was short-lived because of the type of aircraft the company used at the time. A former Middletown man who was convicted of possessing a weapon and assaulting his wife has lost his appeal of his conviction. 52-year-old James Youngberg was convicted by an Orange County court jury in September 2016 of criminal possession of a weapon, criminal possession of a firearm, menacing and assault. He was sentenced to 13 years in state prison and five years of post-release supervision. He argued before the appellate division of state Supreme Court that the county court erred by admitting into evidence an audio recording of a call made by his wife to Middletown City Police. That was rejected. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has awarded grants to Hudson Valley and Catskills counties to support counterterrorism and emergency preparedness efforts. Orange County will receive just under $1 million. Dutchess County will receive $575,000. Sullivan County will receive over $179,000. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.